Hi, this is Ivan from Optimum Polymer Technologies and I'm here at the Rag Company showing you how to gloss coat a wheel. Now gloss coating a wheel has a lot of benefits. First of all, the brake dust won't stick to it anymore. It'll be a lot easier to clean, a lot easier to maintain, and just a lot of fun. And plus, makes the wheel look a lot better. So, first thing you have to do, properly clean the wheel. We use Power Clean, we use Ferrex to get all that brake dust accumulation off of the wheel. Once you've done that, you still need to clean it with paint prep. So that's what we're going to do next. Using paint prep, you want to apply it sparingly to the wheel. So we'll spray it on lightly. And then using a Wizard 360, we're going to wipe it off the surface. The paint prep cleans the surface, getting rid of any oils, contamination, grease, waxes that can be on the surface. Once we've done that, we're ready to apply the gloss coat. So now with the gloss coat, first thing we have to do is remove the cap and apply the application needle. Sometimes these are screwed on pretty tight. You may need a pair of pliers to get it off. Make sure you put that on. Then with the included applicator pad, you want to apply the gloss coat to the pad in a bit of a V pattern. Think of it as a piece of pie. And fill in the center of that piece of pie. The reason we're doing it in this pattern that we have here, because that's actually the area that's going to be contacting the wheel. And from there, we apply it to the wheel. Now I like to be methodical when I do this. So I start at noon and work my way clockwise around the wheel, doing one spoke at a time. So do the spoke, do the inner spoke, move on to the next one. And like the gloss coat video that we did with the Rag Cobra, you see the product cross-linking on the surface. When you get to a point where you see that the first section that you did is cross-linking and needs to be wiped off, stop and wipe it off. Now today is a fairly dry day in Boise, so we don't have a lot of humidity, so it's taking a little longer to cross-link, so I'll actually be able to make it around the wheel before I wipe off. Then fill in the center section, lug nut holes, and I like to go one time around the wheel, just around the edge, to make sure we have everything. Then using our Edgeless 365, where we started applying is where I'll start wiping off the high spots, if we have any. Now a wheel, obviously we are going to have high spots because we're not applying in a nice even manner because it's a stop and go and there's a lot of little little sections to do. So there we have the gloss coat, it's applied to the wheel, and it's ready to go. Now once you're done applying the gloss coat, first of all, you want to take the excess air out of the syringe. So that bubble that's at the top there, we want to get rid of it. And if you leave a little bit of air at the top of the syringe, that's fine. But you don't want a big bubble of air. Remove the applicator tip and put the storage tip back on it. Make sure that it's tight. Now using the paint prep, we're going to clean out this tip to be used again. And there we go. So our wheel is gloss coated. It's clean. It's ready to go. We'll have to wait one hour 
before exposing it to the elements. If you want to learn more information about Gloss Coat or any other of the Rag Company's items and Optimum's items, you can subscribe to the Rag Company YouTube channel right along here. It's in there somewhere. Leave comments, questions right below us here and visit us online. And if you have any other questions, my friend Levi, who couldn't be here today, well, you can contact him at Levi at theragcompany.com.